This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got two guests with me from Kempville today. I have got Paulina Rebecca and I have got Herb Cloutier. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks, Thanks for, for having, having us. us. Yeah, we are <laughs> going to talk about uh, the Kempville Winter Carnival. Uh, there's been a few tries at doing it. COVID happened, and but this year is going to be a successful event. But let's first start talk about you two, uh, Pauline, let's start talking about what, what, you, what you do, and then Herb will talk about what you do, and then you two collaborated to make this a successful event. So, Paulina, we'll start with you. Absolutely. So, as you know, um, I was a reporter in Kempville a couple of months ago, um, and I when I left that industry, I really just wanted to maintain my connection to the community, so I thought volunteering would be a great way to do that, and uh, Herb was one of the first people to come up to me when he knew that I had switched careers and knew that I had some extra energy to spend and asked me if I could be on the committee for the Kempfell Winter Carnival. So I'm kind of um, handling a hybrid role. I'm doing the sponsorship lead. So I'm managing all the sponsorships um, and I'm also uh, coordinating some of the communications. So writing press releases and handling some social media stuff as well. All right, and Herb? Well, um, I just want to make sure that uh, all your viewers know that it's it's just not Paulina and I. We have we have a strong committee of other um, volunteers. So we have uh, Lisa Leduc and we have uh, Erica Kukuro, and we have really good support from the municipality uh, through their staff and Tammy Hurlbert. Um, so we we have you know my wife and I have been working on this for three years, Debbie and I, and uh, you know we've had this in the back burner for probably you know. A couple of years before that, so we we needed a good uh, a good committee, and thankfully, you know, Kempville has such great you know volunteer and, and such strong committed people that we were able to grab a few, um, and and Paulina and Lisa and Erica are just a few of them. So it's not just uh, it's not just me. Um, it's 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 a whole collaborative effort, and um, and we're 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 just happy that we're able to to leverage some really, really talented people. All right, so let's talk about the weekend itself. It's February 3rd to the 5th, uh, and they both day, the, the days start at three o'clock in the afternoon, is that correct? Yeah, we're going to uh, we're going to start slow. Um, this this um, carnival is just going to be a, a three day kind of long weekend carnival, and we've got some really good programming provided. But yeah, it's going to start Friday, uh, you know, afternoon, hopefully when people uh, get off work, they can come down and spend a really nice evening with us all day Saturday and probably the half day Sunday. And we're, um, we're, we're hoping that we can do it on, on that weekend, the third, fourth and fifth. We do have kind of a warm weather date. That's the following weekend because uh, this year has been unprecedented as far as the amount of snowfall we had before Christmas and then how warm it got and all that all that snow and then the rain is, is just um, it has to go somewhere. So it's going down da down the, the, the waterways. So we we may have some challenges there. We're, we're still you know hoping that it's going to get cold uh, so we can make ice. But right now that's about where we are. And we're talking about it being on, on in Curry Park along the water there. Uh, we were talking earlier about there's there's always a family that made a little rink out there, and you guys are going to blow it up <laughs> and uh, do a big section of it so people can can skate on the rink. So you're hoping for ice. We're, we're very much so hoping for ice. Last year we 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 didn't go quite as far down um, towards the bridge where that that family makes their their ice surface. We stayed more towards uh, where the boat launch is, but we made it uh, approximately. 125 by 700 feet it was it was quite big um and we we would love to be able to do it this year but um it's going to be weather you know dependent and whether or not we were able to do it um at that location or or on the ice it was still up in the air because of weather right 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 so if the ice isn't in or is it still going to happen you're going to be able to do it up on land in curry park we're, we, we've got three <laughs> options that, that we've discussed and, and I talked with Paulina and um, and the, the municipality yesterday and, and again today. And uh, there's three options that we will still provide a really good carnival experience to, to, to whoever wants to come. And we still will go ahead with our programming. And um, it's just uh, really, we're just really, 
you know, kind of hoping for option one and hope we get cold weather and we can do it. If not, we will try to, uh, you know, go and pivot to other options and, and make sure everybody knows well in advance. Okay, so maybe Pauline, I'll go over to you. Can you talk a little bit about the, the events itself? What's going on? Yeah, for sure. So um, just to clarify, our um, the, the hours that we're aiming for are um, Friday around three until nine, and then Saturday, we will have a bit of an earlier start. So roughly nine till nine on Saturday, and then Sunday, <clears throat> again, nine till about three. And uh, Herb has been um, really busy with getting the programming underway. So we are still a month out and uh, it is some of it is um, pretty contingent as well on sponsorships and how much sponsorship we can get at this point. Um, but what we're aiming to do is, is uh, we're gonna have a kids fun zone with all kinds of fun activities, basically winter oriented activities to celebrate the season. Um, we have, in terms of the ice, we have obviously the opening of the skateway and um, a hockey shimmy, and then a curling bond spiel as well. Um, we've got some snow sculpture artists on board that are gonna make some amazing art for everyone to see. That's gonna be really cool. Um, what else have we got? Herb, now, I feel free to jump races. in if I'm missing I'm interested anything. in the dinosaur races. What is that? Yes. <laughs> well, what, 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 what we thought we would do, and it was just a crazy idea that just took took off. And basically what we, what I thought we would be fun was we, we bought, um, I think we bought 10 different colored dinosaur, blow up dinosaur suits. <laughs> and we were going to have um, dinosaur races on the ice and, uh, let the the kids cheer on their favorite colored dinosaur, their favorite dinosaur, and and run those uh, run those races a couple times, uh, you know, Saturday probably, and maybe once Sunday. Um, so yeah, we're definitely gonna have dinosaur races, uh, hopefully on the ice, and uh, we'll cheer them on. And with any luck at all, uh, we have some uh, some irons in the fire of who those people will be in the suits. We're we're hoping to have uh, some leverage on on some of our local councillors to uh, take up the charge for that. But I haven't been able to really talk with them about that. So if they hear this, this will be the first place they hear that I want, <laughs> want them to, to be involved. So yeah, we've got the dinosaur races. We, we've we got um, um, some really cool LED, um, like um, dance fairy wings that we want to do a kind of theatrical show with uh, the figure skating um, kids around. So we're working on that. Um, Again, it's just it's just timing, and it's it has a lot to do with uh, um, you know logistics as far as the ice and, and how we can do that. Um, uh, we're going to have you know the the outdoor patio heaters. Um, we'll have uh, a, a hot chocolate bar and a, a skate up hot chocolate bar with a with a fireplace and a gazebo sitting area. We'll have the skate shack so people can change their their kids skates in in a building that's you know it's going to be out of the out of the wind at least we're we're um we're having uh other vendor shacks uh built um, and uh we're, we're probably would like to have a little kind of uh a vendor area we've got our food and uh um i think paulina we have uh our food suppliers pretty well figured out as far as um is that good? You can talk to that if you if you if you like, and and then yeah, um... yeah. So we're in talks with um, some local barbecue providers. Um, beef brisket is what we're aiming for. We thought that'd be a nice hot snack for people. Um, we also have some local charities that have offered to um, run a, bre a breakfast for us. So basically, like we're thinking a breakfast burrito type of thing, so they can just grab and go, and they can eat it while they're skating around and stuff. Um, we also have beaver tails coming, which I'm pretty excited about. <laughs> uh, one of my earliest memories on the canal in Ottawa is uh, as a kid, you know, skating around with a beaver tail. So I'm really excited. We're gonna be able to recreate that experience for people. That's tradition. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's Canadian. That's right. Um, and another thing we forgot to mention in terms of programming um, is we have two awesome uh, fire dancer performers that are coming out and they're going to put on a really awesome show during the nighttime programming. So that'll be something to watch out for, for sure. Wow, that sounds awesome. That's a... Now, I saw a request out. You're asking people to drop off their Christmas tree so you can decorate too? 
Yeah, I've got um, I've got about almost 20 of them now on my lawn here okay. and people have been dropping them off, uh, you know, <laughs> one to a day. And uh, what we what what we've done is we we've we've, uh, we've got purchased um, the solar LED colored lights and we want to decorate them and kind of have like a little, you know, really uh, fun, but uh, really pretty skate way that people can can skate up to the hot chocolate bar or skate through the trees and have them independently powered so that there's no cords or cables you can just grab the tree and move them out of the way surface the ice and then put them back so um that we we've had you know a lot of thought go into this and, and try to make it as as pretty and as nice as we can um and uh, i think I think we're uh, we're gonna, you know, our, the plan is to 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 start small and 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 then build the the winter carnival into you know a, a real nice piece for North Grenville because the North Grenville municipality is uh, been very kind and and, and been a, a major sponsor in, in getting this um, off the ground and have been supportive with the you know the the staff and the parks and rec staff have been awesome about cleaning the ice and making sure it's safe and all that. So, you know, we would like to make this kind of a tourist uh, location for for a winter spot. And I know I've talked with the tourism offices throughout our region, and they're, they're very excited about having something um, for people to go and, and take part of. And I mean, Herb, you, you say you, you've put some thought into this. Uh, you didn't do yourself justice here because you've been thinking about this for over three years. <laughs> it's yeah, a lot yeah, of thought. For sure. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. And it's and and again, it's not just me. You know, this started with uh, a small group of us. Um, you know, myself, my wife, and and uh, you know, we had Rachel Wilson, who was a a wonderful woman, who I really I really appreciate. And sadly, we we lost her um, last year. But um, we want to recognize Rachel's commitment to to getting this off the ground too. And uh, we have uh, Shannon Lever who helped us to do this. She was amazing. Um, we have Tanya McRae that does the donate to skate part of this. And uh, she's wonderful. I think she has like 100, 150 different types of size skates that are sanitized and sharp and ready to be used free of charge for families to come. That is awesome. Um, with the municipality's help, we're able to make this a, a, a no fee event for anyone that would like to come. And uh, that's that's our goal to, to build up a really great winter carnival that that doesn't, you know, cost a lot or anything for people to come and enjoy the outdoors. Wow. So if you don't have skates, you're going to be able to provide skates for some people. Yeah, they're wow. there and they're free. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. And that's donate to skate. Donate to skate. Tanya McRae does that part for us, um, and then you know, we we we've had really good success on that. We we provide you know, hockey sticks and pucks and things like that too for kids to play. Um, there's there's we try to try to make sure that everyone has something to do this year. We have uh, some uh, igloos that we're going to be putting up along with the with the Christmas trees, and we're going to have you know. Um, in the beaver tails, like Paulina says, it's going to be a big hit, I think. Oh, I'm so glad you, you mentioned the donating to the skates because, you know, you wouldn't want to see a child or, or, or an adult be able to, to say, I can't go because I don't have skates. Yeah. That, that's a, exactly. an awesome element. Now, do you still need volunteers? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we do. We do. Uh, we're trying to think of creative ways to um, get the message out there that uh, we would really love to build a strong volunteer team. And the nice part of that is it's very flexible. If people have limited hours in terms of their availability, we'll take what we can get, basically, and uh, they can sign up for whatever hours they want. Um, there's a wide variety of activity, activities people can do to help us out. We're going to need um, people to help us decorate and uh, set up and tear down, uh, coordinate parking, um, basically just make sure that things are running smoothly. And it's going to be a really fun event to be a part of. Um, it's the first big carnival in the wintertime for Kempville, so I think it'll be really exciting for volunteers to witness it and, and be a part of making it happen in its first year. Um, I just wanted to mention there was one thing I noticed on social media, especially uh, when we first started promoting the event, we created a, a Facebook event page. 
And immediately I've noticed a lot of messages and comments from people saying, oh, this just reminds me of when I was a kid and when I would skate on the creek. And like, I'm so excited you guys are bringing this back because not much is happening on the creek in the winter. And, um, you know, it's something that I think is uh, one of the main reasons why Herb wanted to do this in, in the first place, right, was to kind of get life back out onto the creek and celebrate community. So, um, yeah, it's going to be really exciting. We're uh, looking forward to it. Bringing some traditions back. Skating and beaver yes. tails on the, on the, on the lake. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And uh, in addition to volunteers, we're also still looking for sponsors. Um, we've got a lot of our programming um, covered so far with the generous sponsorship we've received from the community, but there's still some areas where we're going to need sponsorship uh, in order to pull off some of the, the entertainment and some of the activities. So so yeah, how do, how do people like to get do a hold call of you? out for sponsors? <laughs> Pardon me? How, how do people get a hold of you then? Oh, well, our, our email is uh, wintercarnivalkempfil at gmail.com. Um, and uh, they can connect with us via Facebook as well. Our Facebook page is Kempfil Winter Carnival. So we've got a main account and we've also got an event page, which is also called Kempfil Winter Carnival. So Excellent. if they can connect with us via email or Facebook, then we can get those forms to them and more information. And I know you got back to me quite quickly when I asked if you wanted to come and do an FYI with me too. So you're very quick on the response too.